And white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. <laughs> this is a certified hood classic. Oh, look, y'all, I'm gonna need y'all to do me a favor, man. Do it just for your boy, man. Look, hit that like button, go down below, subscribe to your boy, man. You already know, man. We're ready for that hundred thousand. Oh, that's hello. We're ready for that hundred thousand subscriber plaque. We're gonna put that right there on the wall, right there on the wall. So I just need y'all a favor, man. Just make sure y'all hit that like, bro. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You might need to do it on Twitch. I'm serious. This one time, racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. That's that old day spill. That's that OG. I, I was coming. I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, "Everybody, get on the fucking ground! <laughs> Nobody look at my face!" <laughs> I started freaking out because he was Chinese. I was like, "Why is he talking like that?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was screaming and crying. Not Chinese. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. <laughs> he didn't need to talk, I know just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him, I was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. You already know. Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> hell no, nah, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. We are we trying to we trying to get the fuck out too, bro. <laughs> Shit. Hell no. Nah. We trying to all get out here, bro. We were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. Oh, for real though, I've never seen one. That's the truth. The, oh, you know what? You know what? The only the only time I've ever seen them take a black hostage is literally this Britney case, bro. Uh, remember the 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 uh, do y'all remember? No, the black the basketball player, the woman basketball player. That is the only time I have ever. And I mean, that's just that's not saying Russia is a terrorist, but I'm just saying uh, that's the. Only time that I've ever seen some people trying to negotiate with a black hostage. Bro. Like I have yet to see one of us on the news. She's damn near a prisoner of reading war. the hostage letters. Um, mm. right, free her, free her. They is hey, treating chef. us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. <laughs> uh, I like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, send some new <laughs> Right, free her. Yup, that's who I'm talking about. You're not gonna see it. Terrorists are smart, they know what they're doing there, you know. They terrorists. They right. know black people's bad bargaining chips. Facts. <laughs> facts. That's fucked up. The facts. They called the White House. Hello? We have got five black Hello. <laughs> <laughs> they hung up on y'all ass, bro. <laughs> It's a done deal. <laughs> it's a done deal, bro. You be back in D.C. You know, I was thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm asking you, your white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now, you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell yeah. you something. That is a cultural thing. Yes, it is. He knows who he's going to vote for. He's just not going to tell me. <laughs> Thanks. That shit is serious. That shit is serious as hell, bro. See? They asked the Hey, look, 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 look. I have noticed that as well, bro. Black people don't give a fuck about we will tell you who we voting for. We will tell you who we not voting for. And we tell you we'll tell you if we ain't voting at all. Why? Because they don't give a damn. We just like we, we do not give a fuck, bro. It's like that motherfucker did that. Bro, we 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 quick to talk about shit about a politician. I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. 
It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey, Bob, uh, Bob, who are you gonna vote for? Dave, Dave, whoa, 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 so anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, <laughs> and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! Dave, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about the fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. <laughs> he said, they Bob, God, that was like you, Bob. Bulge that information. Because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people will openly talk about politics. Black people will openly talk about beating up politicians and shit. Thanks. If I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's facts. I think we all got one black person in our family or at least one black friend or older black friend that have said something similar. Or if they have never said that, they, they've on the verge of saying some shit. Watch. Just, uh, just fuck up they shit. Just fuck up they shit. And they'll say some shit like that, bro. Definitely. <clears throat> Why would you say it? But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people, see, see, even when I vote, right? Which I don't. But, but, said, but even I when I like, think about like, who I would vote for, right? I don't even look at their political policies. Mm. I just look at their character. Okay. You know what I'm saying now? You gotta read, no, I'm serious. You gotta read between the lines. Okay, what's your like, You what know, you, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on the campaign. I saw one thing on the campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! <laughs> I said, mm -hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see George Bush Jr., he'd be in there, Hey, they said, hey, bro, y'all remember that Dave Chappelle skit? He said, man, he said, man, y'all want me to be real? Hey, be real with him, son. Y'all want me to be real? That nigga try to kill my father. And he said, that nigga said, say word, you try to kill your father. That nigga try to kill my father. I was like, bro, Dave Chappelle is hilarious, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love that dude, bro. My favorite comedian, bro. One of my one of my favorite comedians. Like, see, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but goddamn it, not in the White House. <laughs> the White House. Hell no, nah, man. Hey, bro, did y'all see that white guy that jumped up in the in the background? He was like, "Yes, yes." Hey, bro, look, look, look. I'm gonna go back. Y'all look over here. It's right here in this corner, in this vicinity, right there. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. He popped up. There he goes. There he goes right there. He said, yes. That was that right there. Uh, I caught you. That nigga had on boots with springs in them. He popped up. Yes. That nigga busted. That nigga. Remember we was talking earlier about the bust. That nigga busted. Oh, <laughs> that nigga popped up. Can't have no coke head president. Mm -mm. Nah, man, facts. He be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. Oh hell, nah. He be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. I suck your dick, like what the? No, hell no. Nah. <laughs> he making us look like assholes, bro. <laughs> Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. <laughs> Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. <laughs> I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel finally. <laughs> I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always better. Oh, wow, bro. He said, he said, no, let him finish. I will sign the treaty. Oh, there will be peace. Now, again, That's how, I'm not uh, looking at his no. politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. <laughs> I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators. He's a, a lot he of them. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Let's let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. 
Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what he did. Now, now let's just, let's just, okay. let's, Talk your let's shit. think back for a minute. Remember a guy named, named Kennedy, John F. Kennedy? Remember him? He fucked Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact, him and his brother Bobby fucked Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Marilyn Monroe was a bad bitch. And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. <laughs> they, they were getting it on. Damn, bro. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes? She'd be singing on there. She'd just party, stressing them out. Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. <laughs> wow, bro, wow. He does great impressions, too. Bro. Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that. Because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was. He was a busy man. Mm. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. Okay. I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. Look like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. Huh, oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. <laughs> he said Clinton he had the butt. About three thirty, come on. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. And then to top it off, he. Wow, bro. I give all. Wow, man. I Dave Chappelle undefeated, undefeated, bro. Undefeated, bro. That is my nigga, bro. Undefeated.